Hi, my name is Dr. Lonnie Simpson, and today I'm going to talk about OsteoStrong and my concerns about the claims about OsteoStrong and increasing bone density. Why am I so concerned about this? Because the claims that I'm seeing, I do not think are possible. This is my opinion, and it's based on that I am a clinical bone densitometrist. I have been writing reports for bone densities for a very, very long time. I'm the author of the book, Dr. Lonnie's No Nonsense Bone Health Guide. And I am, I think, perhaps positioned perfectly to get a little more access to these studies because I'm an alternative doctor too. Uh, I was originally trained as a chiropractor, but I also had a multidisciplinary clinic Back in the 90s, I had an osteoporosis center. I had internists and gynecologists working there and acupuncturists. And we ran bone densities, and I wrote the reports on them and later became a bone densitometrist. So I have been at understanding bone and, by the way, teaching about bone. I taught osteology, college level, arthrology, spinal anatomy, radiology. So I'm, I'm steeped in this. And I do like to think of myself as kind of a no-nonsense type of person. So if there's a good alternative thing out there, I will get behind it 100%. And that's, my, that's going to be my challenge to the OsteoStrong folks, John J. Quish, who uh, developed OsteoStrong based on his research. Um, I want to partner with you and confirm some of the studies. So I'm going to, I have a, a presentation that I'm going to do to go over some of these questions that I have. Okay, so uh, the question here is, osteo strong, is it a scam? So I'm putting the question out there. Is it a scam in relation to bone density? So it is a machine, and um, uh, the definition of this is osteogenic loading. So that's what OsteoStrong is a company that has franchises all over the country and now all over the world. And it's also, uh, I believe they partnered up with Tony Robbins. I believe he's still a partner in this. Uh, it is a rehabilitative medicine um, medicine method with a goal of improving bone density and prevent preventing bone fracture. This can be seen as a brief intensive resistive exercise for bone health. So they're marketing for bone. They're marketing for uh, bone health and also bone density. And this is an earlier machine, I believe. This is the biodensity. That's the one I tried. They have newer equipment now, but it doesn't matter. They've been making these claims on their machines all along. And I'm seeing an increased number of people share from the, from the um, well, sometimes individuals, but a lot of the uh, franchise owners sharing in osteoporosis groups. They're using these groups to feed into their franchises. Now, I don't think they're bad people. I think they think that this is what's happening. Um, so <clears throat> the study in question is this particular study. And I'm going to show that study just for a moment here. Here is the study. Um, and it's in the Journal of Osteoporosis and Physical Activity. And it is talking about doing uh, over a 24 week period, one, um, one of these treatments, or you know, it's like 10 minutes or maybe 20 minutes at the most, I actually am not quite sure, once a week. And so this was submitted in June, 2015. There are some other studies like this too, okay? Um, in this case, they randomly selected from a Single location, they randomly selected 55 postmenopausal women to receive the osteogenic loading therapy at an osteo, osteo strong center. 
So this is where we're getting where I'm getting it from. Anybody can read the study. Well, I'm just going to say it here and I'm going to say it again in a moment when I get back to the slides. So the osteogenic loading therapy intervention resulted in statistically significant increases in functional loading. Okay, I, you know, I can kind of, you know, go along with that, that it's going to increase um, the, uh, hang on, I'm going to try to get my little spotter here. There we go. That's going to increase muscle strength. You know, I, I can buy that. You're, you know, doing some stuff here. <laughs> so you're going to have that to some degree. <clears throat> but here's the rub. The DEXA subgroup, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, saw increases of 14.9% in the hip and 16.6% in the spine. I have been doing this, I have been doing this work. I repeat, I have been doing this work for close to 30 years in one way or another working on bone. I have never seen this level of increase in six months or a year or two years. In fact, I bought into another doctor back in the 90s, John Lee, who was claiming 14% increase in the spine simply using um, uh, progesterone cream didn't pan out. Well, that made me become more skeptical. I question everything. I don't just question, obviously, alternative stuff. I question the medications. I question everything. And I think there is a more balanced approach. But when people start throwing numbers around like this, it makes me very, very concerned. So <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the slides here. So that was a study we just looked at. John Jaquish is the researcher and founder. So again, the claim is six months of 10 minutes, once a week, significantly increased bone density in 11 adults. It could be 20 minutes. I think it is 10 minutes though. That doesn't matter. If this were three times a week, if it were every day, I would be questioning this. 14.9% in the hip and 16 in the spine uh, if, with 11 cases that show substantial gains like this, I would be at the forefront talking about this because would I want this for myself? I have osteoporosis. I've never fractured, by the way. I'm 70 years old, diagnosed in my 40s. So I, I'm, I'm down with you know using alternative methods when we can. But this, I, I, you know, I just will not believe it until I see it. And I am cautioning people about it. And by the way, um, I just received, because uh, I've been over on Facebook in my group, uh, Osteoporosis Myths and Facts, asking people would they share, share their uh, reports with me from, uh, from their experience with OsteoStrong. And one did, and she happened to have all of the diagnostic pages. If any of you have my book, they're in the back of the book. You want images too. The report doesn't really tell you anything other than there's, here's a report. Was, were the bone densities compared correctly? And this is where we have a problem with bone density. So if you get a single bone density, you're going to be in the ballpark. But where the problem comes in bone density is when you have ill-trained people, and I've even seen trained people, that are not using the same templates as before, and that's where we run into trouble because if they're not, if not apples to apples, now you might be looking at apples to watermelon, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, and I don't know about this center. Now they say that this center was not connected with them. It was 11 people, and this should be easy information for John Jaquish for you to get for me so that I can verify this. All you have to do is call them up. It's right in their machines. They can just print it out. This is as easy as it gets, honestly. Okay. All right, so the advertising by OsteoStrong, so if they were just advertising that this is good for muscles and in so doing, 
it might also impact your bone. But that's not what's happening. This is being uh, advertised actually as a cure. You'll see. Let's look at some of these things. I didn't even take that much time. Uh, there's there. All you have to do is Google um, Osteo Strong and look at images, and you're going to come up with these things. Sounds too good to be true. Here we go. Ten minutes. No sweat workout. Osteo Strong strengthens bones in ten minutes with high in high tech machines. Now, who would like this? Well, everybody would like this. 10 minutes once a week to reverse osteoporosis or increase bone density? Wow, I would do it in a heartbeat. Here's an ad from OsteoStrong. Our mission at OsteoStrong is to eliminate osteoporosis worldwide because we know osteoporosis is the deconditioning of tissue. That's not even a true statement. I'll tell you why in a minute. And we believe, based on the science and research, this doesn't have to be the case anymore. That's an absolutely incorrect statement. We know that osteoporosis is the deconditioning of a tissue. Why is that wrong? I'll give you one simple example. Maybe I didn't gain enough bone density through my teens because I didn't eat well. My bone density is going to be lower. That doesn't mean my tissues are deconditioned now could have lost it through menopause, doesn't mean my tissues are deconditioned now. It's a poor choice of words at the very least. So um, this is the mission of OsteoStrong. Okay, I should have a disclaimer here. Is it exactly from their website? Um, I'll have to double, double check on that, but let's just say these are, the, these, these are all over the place. And if and if Osteo Strong cared about what their franchise members are saying or doing, they should put out directives, right? This is dangerous if it's not correct. So here's another one. I love the term biohack, because you know this is a kind of a buzzword now, biohack or some sort of hack to do something. In other words, something really easy. So Osteo Strong, it's a biohack that helps you strengthen the foundation of your body, the skeletal system. Unlike other health solutions, you don't have to spend hours at a gym or exert physical energy that will leave you feeling tired by the time you're done. And by the way, um, John Jaquish and I met, um, gee, I don't know how long ago this was, maybe five years ago or so, we met in Berkeley, we had uh, tea together. And I'd asked him at that time to bring me five cases of, to show me, you know, he, he, just even five cases. And unfortunately, not one of them was a comparison to what it should be. He didn't have the right paperwork. And he didn't know that, apparently, which didn't make me feel particularly good about that. Um, and, you know, I was concerned then, and I'm increasingly getting concerned. And the next slide will show you why. This is the scary stuff. Okay, new researcher says exercise can't reverse osteoporosis. I agree with that. Exercise, nothing's going to reverse serious osteoporosis. You can call it reverse if you sometimes are on the borderline and you go from osteoporosis to osteopenia, 2%, that's a reverse, but is it really? <laughs> okay, so I agree with this. I, however, exercise is so important. So those of you who know me, who've read my book, yes, I exercise, I do nutrition, gastrointestinal health, um, all of that. I've been able not to do medication. I've not had a fracture. I'm lucky. And I've had some good genetics and some other things. I work with people all the time who have serious, serious osteoporosis. This is why this kind of stuff upsets me. I have women who are fracturing their bones during pregnancy. Pregnancy and lactation osteoporosis. I have people who have primary hyperparathyroidism who are losing bone. This isn't going to help. They're not diagnosed properly. Or people are just coming to these centers without even getting bone densities. Or maybe they've had one and their doctor may have not actually worked up their, their case properly. All right. So, but here's the killer for me. 
The hallmark of Osseo Strong Centers across the U.S. has been the testimonial success stories shared by members. So what happens is all of these centers, the people who go to the centers, they come in with their reports, not the full report, and nor does anyone at the center know how to tell whether or not that report has been properly assessed. I find errors all the time. I found one the other day where a woman uh, was said to, they said she'd lost 6%. Once I was done, she'd actually, hasn't lost any, she's stable. So it can go both ways, obviously. So people have quit their osteoporosis medications. In some cases, that's absolutely dangerous, by the way, uh, to just quit. Experienced total osteoporosis reversal. I'm trying to remain neutral here. Tell John you show me these 11 cases, but really, a total reversal. So you're telling me that a negative 4.5, so you can lump them all in. Some have received, is it negative 4.5 went to complete reversal? They gained 20, 30% bone density? Well, you would think that's possible with your equipment because you're saying right in the beginning, 14% in six months was increased in the hip and 16% in the spine. I'm telling you, you, if this is true, you are up for a Nobel Prize because this is nothing short of absolutely stunning. Uh, all right. Experience the total osteoporosis and DEXA scan readings show women and men over the age of 60 who now have the bone density of a 30-year-old. Wow, that's great advertising. Okay. Those osteo strong a scam. I have no beef, or for you who are vegans, no tofu, with the fact that this is a machine that will probably help with balance and strength. Maybe it can maybe it can stabilize bone loss if that person is losing what we call age-related loss, 0.5 to 1 percent. It's never going to stop loss if it's from parathyroid disease or leaking calcium out of the kidneys or any number of other things that I can think of. They're so we're not all alike. We're all different. We all have osteoporosis for different reasons if we have it. We all come to this. I'm at 70. I get to 70 with my set of bones. They're not your bones. And I have my own history of how I got to where I am. So here, John Jacobs, here is my request of you. And I, it's really almost a plea at this point because I'm seeing so many misguided reporting of these reports in groups. I saw one the other day, by the way, that I could just see by the report was incorrect. It showed that the person had lost 12% in their hip and the next year gained back 12%. That doesn't happen. That was an error the first time and then it was probably corrected. And he didn't know enough to know that, but he said, oh, the person gained all this. It just didn't, didn't happen. So I'm pleading with you to please share those cases with me. I think you have other studies as well. Let's do it. I will support you. Um, and what I need, and you will have no trouble. All you have to do, because I do this all the time, all over the country, people send me their DEX reports for a second opinion. All you have to do is call the center that did these bone densities for you and ask them to complete, to give you the complete report. And um, I'm going to see if I can actually get that to come up real quick here. I do have, uh, all you have to do is contact me. Um, Hang on, let me see if I can just find it because I'd like to post it here. Err, should I add that? Well, it is in the back of my book. Um, I'd like to put it here, but I don't see it. 
I don't want to get a ton of emails. Uh, ah, I found it. Yay. Okay. All right. It was worth, worth doing because I want to show you this. And just, John, just email me and I'll make this available to you so you can just send it to the center. Um, and anyone, by the way, who gets a bone density, you should get the full request. It's, it is incumbent upon the imaging center to provide you with this. So this is the full request. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to put this on my website. And it will be under, uh, actually it's up there now, but it's under uh, uh, forms. Uh, but I will make sure it's easy to find. So if there's a Hologic machine, you have to ask for certain pages in Lunar. And because a lot of these facilities, the people aren't trained, and I do realize that you did this out of this country, and I don't know if a densitometrist actually read them, but you said that the technicians were trained, ra trained radiologists. That's not the same training, by the way, that the International Society of Bone Densitometry does, uh, which is much more extensive, but nonetheless, uh, they did that. So yeah, this is the form. And it's not hard, this is just not hard to do. So again, my um, request, John Jaquish, is to, uh, let's look at this together. Let's get it right. Even, you know, even if we're not seeing these huge increases, but I can see, if we've got enough evidence that it is stabilizing people, you've got something. But to give people the idea they're going to reverse osteoporosis, what's going to happen? Yes, yeah, some of these people are going to stop medications. I also know people who have fractured on your equipment. You said that didn't happen when we met, but it has happened most certainly. And, you know, I would get a franchise. If this shows to be that effective, I would want to have one. Okay, so anyway, um, Thank you, John. I, I hope we can work on this together.